I have not had one of those in 10 years. Oh my god. This is exciting me. What do you guys think? And then I've been journaling and I've been doing my meditations. You're crossing it. You're bothering <laughs> I'm stealing it. another vlog I'm so excited to do this week's vlog I feel like I have not vlogged in so long and that is because I haven't I haven't vlogged probably like this in two and a half three weeks probably I guess since I packed for New York we went to New York I had kind of like five days where I just needed to like crawl in a hole and just like chill and now I'm back okay we had a great weekend you guys saw last weekend's vlog and it was just fun this is now starting our weekly vlog and Annika's not here this week but I I miss vlogging and I'm just gonna do a solo vlog. We've got lots of stuff going on. I'm gonna try to do a few surprises for Annika before she gets back. So that's gonna be fun. I just sat down. I had the cutest, cutest morning as you saw. I had the cutest morning. I just sat down for lunch and made the most gorgeous HelloFresh meal. You guys already know how much I love HelloFresh. Let's roll the clips. HelloFresh delivers fresh, quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week so you can savor summer flavors right from home. HelloFresh recipes include pre-portioned ingredients. That means less prep for you and less food wasted. Foolproof, step-by-step -step recipes mean joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer. No worries if you're traveling this season. You can update your delivery address and enjoy HelloFresh at your vacation destination with just a click. Plans are flexible, so they will work with your ever-changing schedule. Plus, HelloFresh cuts back on the time in the kitchen with meals ready in about 30 minutes or less. Right now, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code JENNICA16 to get 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com with code JENNICA16. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. I mean, are you actually kidding me? Of course I added hot sauce because I can't eat anything without hot sauce at this point anymore. But one thing I also love about HelloFresh is it makes me like cook things in ways that I have like gotten used to cooking differently. I, all my little like round potatoes, I do smashed potatoes with those every single time I've shown you those recipes. And I forget that I can do such the cute little fry in the air fryer. It takes two seconds. Okay, let's do a taste test. I mean, obviously. Mmm. It's like a Philly without steak. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I just tasted the other cheese. There's two different kinds of cheese slime. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow, you guys, that was truly the perfect lunch. <laughs> what was this? What was this? That was the perfect lunch. I'm like so full now, but it wasn't heavy, you know what I mean? Like it was just a great fulfilling sandwich with some potatoes, a little vegetable. So, okay, today we do really kind of have a busy day. I feel like I'm finally back in a good headspace, and I think that's mainly because I have made it a priority for myself to develop a routine. I've been in this job now for over a year at this point. It was May of 2021, so it's been a, like a year and two months since I've been doing this for full time. And I still feel like I've struggled to get a schedule down that is just, I don't know, I don't know, it, it feels like because I'm working all the time, it's really hard to turn my brain off. I mean, I don't ever scroll aimlessly on my phone without thinking and conceptualizing, getting inspiration from places. And this past week, I really kind of like took a no phone weekend because I was like, I just cannot look at my phone. And it's awful because then I like, I'm not responding to text messages, which I'm not the best responder anyway. But I just feel like having my work and my phone on one phone, I need to figure out something there. But something that has helped is that I'm really, really, really gonna start sticking to a routine. And I've been testing it out, kind of making some tweaks, and I'm just a routine gal. Like, I like flexibility, but I'm thriving, like, only when I'm in a routine. So, currently what that's looking like is I get up in the mornings. I do have to just kind of lay in bed for, like, 30 minutes. I am a person that has, like, no idea where I'm at or what's going on in my 
my face is this swollen in the morning, so. I've been chilling for the first little bit when I wake up, but then, do I have something on my face now? But then I get up and I come straight to the kitchen, I make breakfast, and I've really been trying to like put an effort into breakfast because that gets me like up, standing on my feet, kind of gets me together. I drink water when I'm doing that because I want water like in my system first when I have nothing else in there. And then I either have breakfast outside, it's been still like cool enough in the mornings to have breakfast outside. I really can't when Weasley's here because he's crazy outside, but the other animals are so chill and love it. And then I've been journaling and I've been doing my meditations and I've been trying to write out lists every single day of what I need to get done that day. Even if it's literally like do a load of laundry or get paper towel, like whatever the thing is, it's going on the list because I know list girlies have been telling us this for years, but like crossing something on a list or just having like a, I will go blank through the end of like at 3 p.m. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've done a lot today. Like I'm probably done. And then 8 p.m. I'm like, oh my God. Like I just forget honestly or I'll get so distracting or because I'm in my home I'll like go in my room to get something for this, you know chore or film or whatever And I go in there and I see something else and I start cleaning my room or whatever So I just need to this helps me stay on task so I've been having trouble staying on task. So this has, I feel like, really been helping. So I'm just really, really working hard and I'm really putting effort into structuring my days a little bit better. I want to like get off work at 5 p.m. because I feel like I'm not enjoying, my off time and my work time is just merging too much. And I, I feel like I wanna like be off work at a time, a certain time every day, do you know what I mean? I mean, obviously there's gonna be like stuff I still film. Filming is fun for me, but I'm just talking like work things. Okay, next up, taking breaks. I apologize for going nine days without posting a video that is actually on me. I think that's the longest I've probably ever gone. I feel like now, again, now that I've been doing this for, for a full year now, I kind of have the lay of the land. And I think that kind of like two weeks after Vlogmas, which most YouTubers do this, most people take all of January off, but that's like my birthday, so I can't do that. But my birthday's not till the end of the month, so I really think it might be feasible for me to take like a two week break from posting after Vlogmas, like January 1st through 15th or whatever. I also think it might be beneficial to take a break in the summer. I feel like we kind of did this last summer too. Last summer I was like, Annika was gone a lot more than she is this summer. So I really was like not in a great place. And I remember taking like a break on accident last summer as well. And after we got back here and I, I couldn't pick back up the camera because of just some, some personal things, I was like, I think I need a mid-year break as well. I think we need two weeks in January, two weeks in June, maybe like the two weeks after Annika's birthday each year to just like recoup, get re-inspired. It's not that I'm not inspired right now now and I feel like because I love I watch a lot of YouTube so I feel like I've heard this conversation from a lot of youtubers it's not right now that I'm not not inspired I just feel like I would be talking to the camera and I would turn it off and I'd be like oh my god like everything that I just said was so dumb nobody wants to hear it. like did that didn't even make sense why are you even talking well I experienced that and I, I get to where like I I don't like angles of myself or like I'll just, it's really, it's really a lot. And I don't get like that often. I really do think though it has like a lot to do with us going viral and people picking apart every part of me, but I feel good again. <laughs> I feel good again. I know I ramble and that's just how it is. Okay. That is just how it is. So we're going to have a great week. I can't wait to bring you guys along. We're also going to do, I mentioned some surprises for Annika's room. I think I also want to do a special light that we have in her bathroom. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be fun. Quick change of plans. I haven't really laid in the sun since I went to the beach for Kathleen's birthday in May. I just feel like I need to get a little bit of color. So the UV is 10, baby. I threw on some SPF. I still have some pimple patches on I need to take off before I get out there. But look at these Amazon sunglasses that I just recently got. Okay, they give me my like Dior ones that I showed you vibe. They're Amazon, look how cute. They're not like an aviator shape, but they just fit so, so cool. I love, they'll be in my Amazon shop. Okay, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on and I packed up some grapes packed up some pretzels and we're gonna go get a tan let's hope jump scare hey i'm back that was so refreshing i'm so glad i did that but lena what are we barking at oh my goodness look at marty look at that booty mercy you got a donk girl okay anyway i am doing a couple cricket projects and i could brought the cricket out a couple days ago and i was like before you put that up i need to do things that i have been putting off so i got this orange cup for my brother drake and let me zoom back out Whoop. i got this orange cup for drake and i'm gonna do this i've already printed it out i'm gonna do the silver on the orange i thought that was cool because the silver like on the inside kind of matches okay but then next i also have this plain starbucks cup and so I thought that I would make Annika something. How cute are 
these. I was gonna call and get her opinion, but... Oh, sorry, my computer's literally messed up. I don't even see the glitching anymore. I still have not gotten this fixed and it's been like, what, two months now? The guy that I go to is a national, I just don't... Okay, anyway, I love that, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think? That doesn't... I mean, maybe if I did it in orange. <gasps> what if I did it in orange and did that one? I don't really like that font, though. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> No, I have to show you, Annika. I have to show you. Okay, so, you know, I was supposed to do with the Starbucks cup. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm still gonna do you something on that that'll be a surprise. I'll keep this a surprise. But this design was so cute that I just couldn't put it on the Starbucks cup. Oh, so, remember that white cup we got forever ago? Yeah. And we didn't put anything on it? Oh my gosh, shut up. Shut up. That's the cutest thing I've ever With the butterflies and the orange? That is the cutest thing I've seen in my time. How cute is this? So cute. Oh, I Oh my god. Hi, Weasel. Usually when I say Weasel, my girl comes running. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Here's the third and final, and it turned out so cute. I love it. It's New York, obviously. Recognize her. Good morning. Okay, it is the next day. I'm on my way now to Auntie Shannon's house. We're gonna do a couple things around her house today. She needed a little bit of help with, and she knows that I like to keep busy when Annika's gone. So I'm on my way to Shannon's, but I wanted to tell you guys about the Starbucks drink that I have been recently liking. This is only my second time getting it, but you know how my relationship is with coffee right now, so not many things are exciting me. This is exciting me. This is the chocolate almond milk shaken espresso, and it's so good. It really just tastes like chocolate almond milk kind of it's got a little bit of a coffee obviously taste that chocolate almond milk doesn't have chocolate almond milk is like a dessert treat for me because that's about as much chocolate as i like most of the time so it's it's so good this though i add a pump or two depending on the day depending on the size a pump or two of raspberry syrup and it makes it like a little chocolate raspberry delight how fun okay so that is what is on the sketch today i need to go buy it's called total wine i have never been into a total wine before until a couple days ago and I went in there to get a gift for Shannon for letting us stay in her New York apartment and then I was like wait a second what this is a, this is a fully a Toys R Us for like alcohol it's crazy I'll show you guys when we're in there later okay we took a break from rearranging our house you crushed it you were Bob's <laughs> Bob the Builder Bob's look at this you can see the Batman building from here how gorgeous is oh, this wow that's pretty there's the Ryman this, this is called the both of us oh this salad look at the salad Wow. This place is called 60 Vines. It's so cute. This place truly is just so beautiful. So beautiful. Annika always makes fun of me because this is my favorite hill. And she's like, who has a favorite hill, mom? But I'm like, this is just so gorgeous. Come on. You guys, please don't judge my appearance right now, but I need to talk about this little ball right here and how much it means to me. Our hometown bakery. Arguably the best bakery of all time, honestly. I'm just gonna say it. Sunrise Bakery in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee is my number one favorite bakery I've ever tried anywhere on the planet. It's just so good. It's just so good. And you know, I don't have a lot of good things to say about my hometown, so for me to sing praises like this, you know it's top freaking notch. This right here, okay? This right here. I love this guy so much. Okay. You know when something's so good in your mouth that it like tenses up your jaw? I have not had one of those in 10 years. Oh my God. We're just like never in my hometown on a time, like a normal business day. Do you know what I mean? Like usually if we're at home, it's like for a holiday. So these are the, like these are the best. These are the best of the best. They're so, I, I mean, I don't, they don't taste like any other kind of donut. Like it's not comparable to a Krispy Kreme or a Dunkin' Donuts or anything. Like we didn't have those kind of chains because I lived in such a small town. Like we only had Sunrise. So I remember the first time like being somewhere where I got some, a donut from somewhere else. And I was like, oh, this is not good. I need to go spend some time with these donuts. She also got me this thing. I explained it to her. I said, I don't know what it's called. I was only ever able to get these like a few times. Like my mom was like, you just simply can't get that every time we go <laughs> have a donut treat because they're just, like this is probably the most unhealthy thing I will ever consume in my life. And I, again, don't care. I have consumed under 10 of them probably though. So that helps. From what I remember, and I think that I'm correct, but from what I can remember, the bottom part of this is like a, a chocolate cake type thing. And then the inside, you can see, it's already kind of, she got me two. So we can call into the other one. But the inside is like a cream, and then it's coated in frosting. So basically it's like a, oh, but it's like a ding dong, I guess. 
probably haven't had one of these since I was like 18. Here I go. Ready? Mmm. This go. Look at this. Look at this. Look how, look at this. Are you actually kidding me? Look at that frosting, how shiny. I mean, honestly, I don't think I can have more than one bite of that because it is so sweet. There's just no way I can have a bad day today. Do you know what I mean? Like after that experience, after starting my day like that, there's just no way. I don't even know if I explained that correctly because I literally was like, I have to get these donut holes in my mouth. But Annika was coming up this morning early for cheer. I'm gonna absolutely have to add on about 10 workouts this week, but I just will not ever live a life that deprives me of this. Look at that. Oh. Welcome home. Also keep in mind that I'm not even a sweets Callie. Like I don't even like sweets. I like salty popcorn chips, dips, even breakfast foods. I go like more biscuit and that way. This is the only thing that I just absolutely, like, this is how people feel about sugary, sweet, chocolate, sour, whatever things. I get it. Look what I see, look what I see. Okay, it's a little bit later. Annika is back from cheer and I just got back from a workout. I told you I was gonna work out twice today because of those donuts. We got a huge package from Liquid Ivy. I love Liquid Ivy's we just, I just love Liquid Ivy so much. And I, which was just on her, I saw on her Instagram, I think it's gonna be other energy flavors. I'm stealing this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm getting it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You have actually been wanting this for a really long time. It's a yoga mat. This is freaking cute. I think there's gonna be other energy flavors. Yep. Pineapple? <gasps> Fun. Okay, so the only energy flavor that they have is lemon lime, and I really, really like the lemon lime flavor, but I feel like I always need energy. I kind of like overdid it on the lemon lime. This is like a sweat towel. Is this a yoga mat? No, this is. Does this go over the yoga mat, maybe? maybe. It feels like. <gasps> it's Jim Shark socks. Holy. Oh my God, this is Gymshark too. <gasps> and a jump rope. I literally just got back from a workout. Oh, I'm so, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I'm like strangely obsessed with like socks and like getting really good. I've dreamed to this with water bottles. So this socks. is my collection. So I'm excited to try these cute Gymshark ones. Oh my goodness, look at me. This is so cute. Wait, pineapple too is such a fun flavor. <gasps> Help me fun. Like this feels, I wish I could explain the like, and is it insulated? This is cute. Like what I hate, just stay. I'm like actually so excited about this. Also, if you've never had the energy ones, the lemon lime one is really, really, really good. Maybe once I have the pineapple, I'll be able to go back to lemon lime now because I just also, really- Also, I have a swimsuit this. I think it might Oh, okay, yeah. She's about to do a video for her channel and she has a swimsuit on, so I promise- I'm not- We're not- I'm closed. Or inappropriate. These are bands, yeah. Resistant bands? Yes. Oh, look how pretty these are. Yeah, I'm gonna how love cute is this. this. Thank wow. you so freaking much, Liquid IV. You can always use my code for Liquid IV. It is Jenica Top 24 or just Jenica Top. I believe it's Jenica Top 24. I feel like you say that every time. I know, because I'm just like, 24, that can't be right. 